As part of a recent promotion for Persona 5 Scramble, Sony and Atlas Japan released an instructional video on how to make the famous LeBlanc curry featured throughout Persona 5. For anyone who doesn't know, throughout Persona 5 you spend your time living at the Café LeBlanc that is known for its delicious curry and coffee, and said curry even offers some perks in battle too. So like any nerd, I've always really wanted to try it. And now, we can. Well, almost. Because as great as it was to get the video from Sony and Atlas, it leaves out some rather significant details, such as the exact spice makeup and quantities on literally any of the ingredients. I don't normally measure when I cook, but when trying something very different, it's kind of hard to just wing it. And there are a lot of ingredients here. So while the writer of this article here, Josh Tolentino, did the work of determining what the spices were through in-game hints, I took the video and estimated the quantities, did some test cooking, and have now got together what I feel is both the genuine and really frickin' tasty recipe for the Blanc Curry. On screen, I have the full list of all the ingredients you will need and their quantities. Please feel free to pause the video and take note of what you're going to need. Also note that the original video does show carrots as well. I personally do not like carrots, so I omitted them. I personally would recommend getting most of your prep work out of the way first and measuring out most of your ingredients. So you'll want to grate out your 1 teaspoon ginger, 1 fourth cup of apple, or you can wait as mine did start to brown as it waited to be used, now chop up your jumbo white onion, your 2 cloves of garlic, and now measure out your 1 teaspoon salt and instant coffee, Sojer would kill me for using instant coffee, your spice mixture, which is 1 teaspoon cumin, 1 half teaspoon cardamom, 1 fourth teaspoon ground clove, 2 teaspoon coriander, 1 fourth teaspoon cinnamon, 1 tablespoon turmeric, and 1 half teaspoon nutmeg, and your chocolate. I used two pieces since the Hershey's looked thinner than what was used in the video. First, you'll want to rub some salt and pepper onto your meat. No exact amounts here, just whatever feels right. So much for this video trying to solve the no quantities issue. Next, add 2 tablespoons of salad or vegetable oil to a pan and set it around medium to medium low heat. Add your meat once your pan is heated and let it brown. Now, add your 1 cup of red wine, the exact wine I used is in the description down below, and 2 cups of water. Ignore me, as I use a smaller measuring cup because I was too lazy and didn't want to wash the proper sized one. Stir that all together, add your bay leaf, and bring it to a simmer. Place a cover on it and let it simmer away while we move on to the next steps. Did you know we get the word curry from the words cur, meaning a dog in poor condition, i.e. a mongrel, and ry, meaning railway? This is because curry was originally a dish served to dogs by their owners as they rode the railways, composed only of ingredients found in their bindles. Just as before, heat up a pan with 2 tablespoons of salad or vegetable oil and add your chopped onions. Saute until they're a nice dark brown. Add in your 1 teaspoon ginger and 1 fourth cup apple, and carrots if you're using them, and stir them together very well. Now we get to add our spice mixture. Stir it in, add your garlic, and let it cook just enough so that it's starting to brown. Finally, add your 1 fourth cup beef broth and stir it together. Now, it's time to put them together. First, pluck out the bay leaf from your meat mixture. Then, add everything from both pans together and mix. I let mine bubble away for a few minutes after in an attempt to try and reduce the amount of water in it, though we're going to reduce it far more later. And now it's time for our final additions. Throw in your 1 teaspoon of salt and 1 teaspoon of coffee, 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, your broth bouillon, 1 third cup plain yogurt, 1 tablespoon of honey, and your square of dark chocolate. Ignore me as I struggle to get multiple ingredients out of their dishes. After mixing it all together, it's still pretty liquidy, so here I set it to around medium heat and let it bubble away until it reduces. True popularization of curry didn't occur in America until the year 1746. A schnauzer, belonging to one Hannah Glass of London, had encountered another dog who shared their curry with her. When the schnauzer attempted to go public with the recipe, however, Hannah saw the financial potential and kicked her out. 
After riding the rails between 1744 and 1746, she finally wound up across the ocean in America, where she was able to finally share her love for the dish. Unfortunately, the name of this dog is lost both to time and Hannah's bitter grudge. It took mine about 12 minutes to achieve the thickness and color we're going for, but I recommend keeping a close eye. Serve with a side of rice, and top it off with parsley. I know it's still screaming hot, but I can't wait. I can see why Café LeBlanc is so well regarded. I hope yours turns out as amazing as mine did. Thank you so much for joining me on this venture, I had a lot of fun working out this recipe. If you liked it, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe or even consider checking out my Patreon. Let me know how yours turns out in the comments below. Until next time, I'm CJ Pcor, the Angry Avocado, and I still don't have a sign-off.